29, time is 6 p.m. Uh, roll call. Marset? Here. Brokaw? Here. Here. Wyland? Here. O'Malley? Here. Here. All are present. Next item is applications for operator's licenses. We've got an issue sheet. It's quite a list. Staff recommends approval of all of these for the period of July 1st, 2009 to June 30th, 2011. Mr. Morris said asked to be recused. Motion for approval. Motion for approval. Second. And a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And those licenses will be approved. Next item is to review bids and award the sale of GO promissory notes and to consider adoption of resolution number 8 09 authorizing the issuance and sale of $3,260,000 of general obligation promissory notes, Series 2009A. Ready? Give us the good news. Sean can explain it. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you, Betty. Uh, maybe if I could just take a minute, uh, we'll start by going back through the process. This will just take a second. But uh, as you recall, the last meeting I was at, we discussed the finance plan for this year's projects and we t discussed uh, refinancing two issues, the 2001 and 2002 note issues. After that, uh, I think I had mentioned to you that the city had a very good historical uh, bond rating, AA3 with Moody's, Moody's Investor Service, and that we were going to have an update of that. And I d just want to spend a minute talking about that. Uh, though real quick, though, before getting there, did all the council members receive this document? Uh, this is the official statement for this issue and contains a lot of general information about the city of Hudson as well as specific information about this issue. Uh, this document, coupled with a lot of other material, was supplied to Moody's and we had a conference call with them uh, last Tuesday. Uh, Betty was there, Devin was there, uh, the mayor was there, uh, Steve Tracy and Denny Darnold was also there, as well as myself. We talked for about an hour, hour and a half, I think, in that range, and I think things went very well. And you will see in the handout in the middle to the back, a uh, third of it, is the review and the affirming of the AA3 rating uh, from Moody's for the city of Hudson. And they're very complimentary of the city. I, I think one of the reasons I thought the discussion went very well is we talked the whole time and they basically just listened. <laughs> uh, usually if they have concerns, there's more probing questions involved. They certainly asked some questions, but I think the, the preparation that the city did up front, staff did for that discussion uh, was very well received by Moody's. Uh, one last thing on the rating, you, you may, as I, I would if I was in your shoes, say, well, what, what can we do to try to increase the rating? And I think in, in the case of Hudson, there, for your Moody's rating, there isn't a lot you can do. The, the, the limiting factors, if you want to call that, for the city right now are primarily things that are really not out of your control. Uh, the, it, the size, Moody's puts a lot of weight on the size of the community. And, uh, while you're not a small community, you're, you're certainly not a, a very, very large community either, and that is a factor that they rate on. They also did mention, and you'll see in the report, that your direct debt, which is debt issued by the city, is a very moderate number, but the overall debt burden for the city, which includes county and school district, is not a high number by any means, but is more in the um, medium range. And I think a lot of that has to do with you have a growing school district, and a growing school district has infrastructure needs that they deal with too. So again, uh, you should be very proud of the rating that you have. Uh, in terms of going northward, uh, we're always looking for ways we can do that. I, I think you're, you're positioned very well right now, but a lot of the factors that would limit you uh, going higher to the AA2, AA1, or AAA level are things that are not in your direct control as a council. Okay. Well, with that as a background, we did go out at 10 this morning for bids, and I did hand out, I think Betty got you also, the sale report. And if I could direct your attention to uh, this, really the second page, which is the third going front back, uh, called bid tabulation at the top. Uh, we did get nine bids, which is an, uh, an excellent amount of bids, and I think does 
represent how Hudson is received in the, uh, in the market. And the bids are, as you look through this, uh, they're from all over the country. You'll, you'll see there's bids from Kansas City, uh, Memphis, Chicago, as well as bids from the Twin Cities and Milwaukee. And the winning bidder was from Milwaukee. It's M&I Bank. And if you look at the true interest rate column on the right side of the, of the page bid tabulation, the winning bid was 3.38%. And if you look at the next couple of bids uh, on, the, on the pages that follow, you will see that a number of the bidders were a little bit higher than that, but very close. So I think a lot of the active bidders in municipal debt uh, saw the city the same way. Uh, the, the back end of the bids start going a little bit higher. Uh, would say that the city has chosen in the past for these type of issues, general obligation issues, to go out for competitive bids. And I think that has served you well both historically and served you well uh, today. It, the difference between the best bid and the highest bid is about 140000 in interest costs to the city over the life of the issue. So I think this, this approach to uh, getting the best bid has worked well uh, and did work well today. Uh, just to talk about a, a couple other things too, if I can have you turn to the page where it says City of Hudson results of sale. I did want to put this in the context to the pre-sale report that we talked about on the 15th. Uh, with the pre-sale report, we had projected an issue size of 3,260,000. But with the bids today, uh, we received a premium bid. So they actually paid us more than what the, uh, the official statement was requested in, in terms of the proceeds of the issue, which they are allowed to do with, within the bid. Uh, we were able to lower the, the, the issue size from 3260 down to 3200000 $3, And the interest rates you'll see uh, ranged from 3% out to 3.7% over the 10-year repayment period for this issue. Uh, particularly on the back end, these interest rates are lower than what we had talked about on the 15th. And thus, if you look at the bottom line number, total principal and interest, the expectation was that the total cost for the issue would be around $4,158,000. With the bid today, it's $4,023,000. So again, very good news with that, uh, that bid from M&I Bank. Uh, lastly, I think in your whole packet, you probably you may have received the entire bond or note resolution. Uh, this has been updated with the best bid from M&I today and also to reflect the reduction from 3260 down to 3.2 million. This document spells out all the, the terms and conditions of the issue. It is a, a general obligation issue, meaning it's backed by the city's ability to levy taxes. It's the strongest pledge that you have as a city. Uh, and it does spell out other terms in terms of the repayment each year. These are things that we talked about in the pre-sale report as well. But it, what action would be required this evening in the council would be approval of this resolution. Doing so also accepts the bid from M&I Bank. Uh, this document was put together by the city's bond council, uh, Quarles and Brady. So with that, uh, it would be my recommendation and Eller's recommendation to accept the bid from M&I and approve the, the resolution. But prior to uh, doing so, if there's any questions that the council might have, I'd be happy to talk about those. Anyone have any questions for Sean? Sorry. Move to accept the bid. Would you, would you like to suspend the rules? I don't like being there, but I'll do that. I'll second that. Motion and a second to suspend the rules. Any discussion on that? Roll call on suspension. Yes. 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 Move to accept the uh, bids. Uh, Rules are suspended. We've got a motion to accept the bids and to adopt resolution 8 09. Second. And a second. Any discussion on that? I was interested to see that the low bidder actually had kind of a flat yield curve in the three percents all the way, but several of them have as low as 1.1% in the near term and up over 
mm -hmm. going out. So there's a difference in the view of what interest rates are going to do, it looks, thought <laughs> between these various bidders. Yeah, they, they, do, uh, they do take different approaches. One of the other approaches is that, that sometimes they offer the premium bid that we saw today and then charge a little bit higher coupons on the earlier. Uh, you'll see the rates and the yields, there's that spread. It, with that, with those sort of issues in mind, and depending on the purchasers they have on the secondary market, they're trying to react to what their needs and, and desires are as well. Well, thank you for your help with this. I think, you know, Moody's again said that we've had solid financial management and conservative budgeting, and um, they like the fact that we have a uh, fund policy and some of those policies that we adopted recently. We'd so like to comment on the, uh, the great job our finance director, Betty Crusoe, has done over the years. That uh, has much to do with our bond rating. So thanks to both of you. Any other comments? Ready to vote? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries and the resolution 8-09 is adopted and we will sell these notes to M and I. Any other business for future agendas? Move to adjourn. We got a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? We're adjourned. Thanks for coming. John, do you need a